Don't twist scripture to fit your little, you know what? Just, just go. Seriously, go. You're the reason why Christians are getting their, their butts handed to them. You want to be going to love the world so much? Then go love them. Again, bend over and let the sodomites sodomize you like do each other because that's all you are good for. You scripture twisting Jezebel. Bend over and let the sodomites sodomize you like do each other. Bend over and let the sodomites sodomize you like do each other. Bend over and let the sodomites sodomize you like do each other because that's all you are good for. All right, just a quick video showing some scripture verses perfectly describing the wicked devil, Rich Minkowski, over at Warriors for Antichrist Ministry. Uh, this guy is a complete, utter blight upon the body of Christ. He is, I, I, I believe he could be a Jesuit plant to try to, you know, just whip up, you know, like the same thing with the Westboro Baptist Church, you know, because the way he preaches on the street, he doesn't even preach the gospel. He preaches the Jesuit uh, accursed gospel of works. You know, it, it's just a continual uh, uh, keeping yourself safe through holiness and everything else. I've shown that. Uh, he's a, a liar, railer, false accuser. You know, he's lied about me, railed against me, willfully too, by the way. You know, it's not just, oh, it's out of ignorance. He's, he's multiple times told willful lies about me, told willful lies about a sister in Christ who I correspond with over Facebook. Uh, there's like, uh, Eric Love over at Sword of Truth. He's lied about him multiple times, willfully too, knowingly, knowing that they're false, you know, but still telling the lie anyway. Uh, he's lied about others too. Basically, anybody who tries to correct him, he just, you know, essentially the devils in him just come out and he'll just, like you, I mean, it's it, I, the only way I can describe it is, is some kind of satanic frenzy he goes into. But either way, he's a wicked devil, and he's been exposed and rebuked. But this is more a scriptural analysis of this uh, false, this minister of Satan, essentially. Some verses that perfectly describe this uh, minister of the devil. Psalms 10, verse 3 to 7. Psalms 10, verse 3 to 7. For the wicked boasteth of his heart's desire, and blessed the covetous whom the Lord abhorreth. A lot of these internet pastors like Pinkowski are exactly that. You know, they're covetous. They bless others who are like them. You know, they're wicked. Uh, verse 4, the wicked through his pride, sorry, wicked through his pride of his countenance will not seek after God. God is not in all his thoughts. His ways are always grievous. Thy judgments are uh, far above out of his sight. As for all his enemies, he puffeth at them. Perfectly describes Pinkowski how he'll just blow up at you if you if you try to give him any kind of biblical correction. Uh, verse 6, he has said in his heart, I shall not be moved, for I shall never be in adversity. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. There you go, Pinkowski. You know, that's Pinkowski summed up right there. His mouth is full, uh, full of cursing, deceit, and fraud. Believe me, I have the screenshots. Other, you know, the sister in Christ that correspond with, she has some screenshots of just very wicked, nasty stuff he, uh, she has, uh, he has sent to her. I mean, uh, stuff he said about me, stuff he said about other people. Believe me, we have the screenshots. He is a wicked, nasty devil. His mouth is full of cursing, deceit, and fraud. Plain and simple. Next verse, uh, Proverbs 15, verses 1 to 4. Here's another thing, too. Whenever you uh, rebuke him, he'll, he'll act like he's being persecuted. This is another thing about a lot of these internet pastors. Um, they, they often conflate biblical reproof with, oh, I'm being persecuted. You know what I mean? And oftentimes, they're the ones who are actually persecuting others, but then they'll cry victim. Proverbs 15, verse 1 to 4, A soft answer turneth away wrath, wrath, but a grievous words stir up anger. See, when you're out there railing on the street, you're not preaching the gospel, you're just railing and poking fun and mocking people. You know, that's why you get attacked. That's why you get arrested. That's why you, you have all these things happen to you. It's not because you're being persecuted for righteousness sake. It's because grievous words stir up anger. You're not preaching the gospel. Just like the Westboro cult, you're out there just, you know, causing division. Uh, again, I believe it could be some kind of Jesuit psyop. I can't prove that, but his doctrines line up with the, the uh, satanic Jesuit order. Verse 2, the tongue of the wise useth knowledge, all right, but the mouth of fools poureth out, poureth out foolishness. Verse 3, the eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. A wholesome tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness therein is a breach in the spirit. Yeah, perverseness definitely describes Minkowski. Just go on his Facebook page, go on his uh, YouTube videos. I mean, it, it's just so vexing and disgusting and kind of stuff he talks about. You know, it, it just every single time, it's just all about the, the perversion, the sexual deviants that are in the, the LGBT lobby and everything else. You know what I mean? And he's so obsessed with exposing the uh, LGBT lobby, which I've, I've done plenty of my own videos rebuking 
the LGBT as well. So I'm not like, oh, I'm some closeted homo. But he's so obsessed with it, like just like the Westworld uh, cult, that if you rebuke him, you're also now a closeted homo. I've been called that, believe me, I have the screenshots. And I can send them to you if you want. Just email me and I'll send you the screenshots. Uh, but yeah, that perfectly describes, uh, describes Minkowski and why he gets persecuted. Not for righteousness sake, it's because he's a nasty jerk and a possible Jesuit agent provocateur. Uh, Proverbs 24 verses 1 to 2. Proverbs 24 verse 1 to 2. Be not thou envious against evil men, neither desire to be with them, for their heart studieth destruction, and their lips talk of mischief. There's Minkowski right there. His heart is, is just all about destruction. He loves, he just loves calling down God's wrath upon his enemies. I have a, there's a screenshots of his Facebook post where he's actually laughing. Oh, I, I can't wait to see God burn my enemies in hell and everything else. That's utter wickedness. That, that shows his true spirit right there. That, that shows that uh, he has no fruit of the spirit whatsoever. His heart studieth destruction. His lips talk of mischief. You know, and there's plenty of other verses too, but these are the, the three ones that really best describe uh, the wicked devil, Pinkowski, over at Warriors for Antichrist Ministry. Uh, he is a blight upon the body of Christ. He has done a, a lot of spiritual damage, essentially. I'll put it like that. He is, you know, again, a possible Jesuit agent provocateur. I can't prove that. But the bottom line is, is that this guy, uh, when you reprove him, when you rebuke him, what comes out of his mouth? Their left talk of mischief, you know, their mouth is full of cursing, vanity, and deceit. Yeah. So I wanted to show you these verses that perfectly describe the wicked, uh, satanic, Jesuit, possible Jesuit coadjutor, Rich Pankowski. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.